Before we start, I just want to note that these are my headcanons and my own opinions, and are based on my tastes and personal preferences. And that if you don't agree with any of my redesigns, that's totally fine. And I'm not claiming that I'm fixing or that my version is better than the original. And this video is only for entertainment purpose only. With that being said, let's start the video. So since Twilight is the main character, I'm starting off with her. I'm not gonna change a lot in her redesign because I already like the way that she looked in the show. I'm only going to add some details that I think will fit her. I'm also going to make her slightly taller and slimmer than the others since she's an alicorn. I'm also going to keep her hairstyle, I'm just going to make the inner part pink. I also need to flip the canvas frequently to make sure that there isn't any proportion mistake. After being done with the sketching part, I lower the opacity and start with the line art. I want her silhouette to be elegant and somehow magical. So I'm going with sharp and tall angles. Making some of her fur stand out at her joints and making her wings fluffy. And to avoid her pose being too boring, I made her read in a book. Now onto the fun part, adding colors. I made her horn and hooves darker at the tips. I made some feathers on her wings pink to match with her hair, while adding a purple gradient and some stars to resemble the night sky. And the inner part of her mare actually works like Luna's and Celestia's. I also gave her some star freckles that I think look very cute on her. And this white stripe on her muzzle, belly and chest. And then finishing everything with some shading. And finally, changing the line art color. And here's the final result. Next up is Applejack. Fun fact, she's one of my favorite characters in My Little Pony. She's caring, honest, and is always looking after her friends. So I want to make her strong and muscular. I'm using rectangle shapes to portray her real ability. Her hairstyle is pretty much the same, I'm just splitting it in two different parts. Now that I'm happy with the sketch, it's time for the line art. Now it's time to add colors. Since I already like her original colors, I'm sticking with them. I will only change the hot color to red. Next, I am adding a white gradient to her hooves and giving a blanket to her back. Added some shading and sprinkled some freckles on her face and on her coat, which I think are a good touch to her design. Then I changed the line art color to this reddish brown and made the one around the hair a yellowish gold. And here's my version of Applejack. Now it's Rainbow Dash's turn. To represent her speed and quirkiness, I'm going to give her sharp triangular angles. This includes a pointy muzzle, pointy ears and eyes. Now for her hair, I wanted to give her a shape resembling a thunderbolt. I actually skipped the sketch in this one because I already done it traditionally, so there is no need for me to do it again since I've already decided what pose she would have. Her wings are sharp and aerodynamic, which allows her to fly and change direction faster. I also gave her some tiny feathers sticking out of her hooves to hint at her pegasi nature. Her tail is shorter since it would probably bother her while she's flying. Now for her colors, this 
was actually a nightmare for me because at first I wanted to stick with her original colors which are this uh, very light blue but then I kinda changed that decision for black I don't know but it kinda blends well with her rainbow hair and she looks like a tender cloud so I guess I don't regret that decision and I also added these light areas going on in her coat and once I was done, I did the normal process, shading and changing the liner color. And finally, here is Rainbow Dash. Now enter the one we all know and love, Pinkie Pie. I had so much fun drawing her since I already had some ideas for her. I then changed her original pose to the sitting one because I didn't have a reference for the first one. Once I was done with the sketch, I jumped into the line art. Unlike Rainbow Dash, she is mostly built on round and fluffy shapes. She is also the smallest of the group. Now for her hair, I wanted to give her those little things that I don't really know how they are called, but like those curls that we already have. As you can see, I struggled with them so I just kept her original curls. Once I was done with the line art, I started coloring her and gosh, I love her color palette. One thing I changed though is that I added some blue, purple and yellow stripes to her hair. I also gave her this pink spot on her eye and on her back. Then I just finished everything with some shading yet again. If any of you wonders what shading technique I use, I just select the part that I want to shade with the lasso tool and for the brush, I use an airbrush with some texture. I also make sure to add some blue to the shading for color theory. Next, I just color the eyes and change the liner color. I also added some color sprinkles to her hair and to her hooves. And with that out of the way, here is my Pinkie Pie. Now, it's time to start with Fluttershy. I want to make her taller than everyone, to make her like some kind of sweet giant. Since she is very shy, this is a very funny design choice. And for her eye shape, I gave her droppy eyes. Which actually didn't end up pretty well. So I just erased her face and did it again. And thanks to the liquify tool, I was able to fix some anatomy mistakes. I ended up really liking the way that I did her hair. So, I'm pretty proud of that. I was struggling a bit while choosing the pose that I wanted to give her, but I guess the more simple the better. I also added these cute little flowers to her hair. For her wings, I wanted to do something different, so I went with these butterfly wings. I also gave her these antlers that don't make sense, but I think it really fits her animal theme. They are probably made of wood branches and she just put them on her head for aesthetic. Nothing really changed with the coloring process, I think except for that green gradient that I'm going to add later on. I also changed the shape of the antlers so they can look more like branches. Afterwards, I selected the part that I wanted to shade with the lasso tool. I'm really happy with how the shading on the hair turned out. To hint at her nature team, I added some green at the tip of her hair. And added this blue because, I don't know, it kinda looks good. More shading here and there, and then I added colors to her wings and some details. Finishing with her eye and changing the liner color to this baby pink. Then I noticed that I just forgot to put in the flowers, so I added some daisies in her hair. As well as her cutie mark that I will add later on. Now the last pony to complete the crew, Rarity. Nothing to say on this one, I pretty much kept her the same. Except I think for her hairstyle that I slightly changed. Like, I added more of her curls because I think they're very beautiful. I'm really happy that I used a reference for this kind of hair. Maybe I should have done it before. I don't know. Anyway, I finished with the sketch and I know her jaw looks pretty unhinged, but I fixed that on the line art. So, Rarity was a really fun character to watch growing up. I don't know, she kinda has a very unique personality that always made me laugh somehow. Cause I remember watching Equestria Girls on loop and whenever she was on screen, uh, it was always fun to watch. Anyways, back to the line art.
Since I really love this combination of white and purple, I'm keeping it. While guiding myself with the reference, I'm adding a gradient to her hair. Change the line at color and I'm finally done. Well, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Hope you're having a good day or night.